Hello, there are six tenses in a German language, and the present tense and past tense are fully conjugated, and the other four are compound tenses. That's why it's really good to learn the present and the past tense together. Okay, now let's take a look how to form the present and the past tense. First of all, we call uh, the present tense in German language das Presence, and we call the past tense in the German language das Präteritum. Okay, how to form all of the both these terms? Tenses. I'm sorry. First of all, you have to take an uh, infinitive form of a verb. For example, to buy. Kaufen. To buy. Kaufen. You see? It's infinitive of the verb. You should take the infinitive of the verb, the first, the second. You should drop E and ending. And we have stem of a verb, okay? And the third, you should add personal endings, okay? Cow plus personal endings, okay? And we have one endings for the present tense and for another endings for the past tense. Now we are going to conjugate the cow uh, in the present tense. Follow me, please, okay? I buy a book. Ich kaufe ein Buch. Ich kaufe ein Buch. You buy a book. Du kaufst ein Buch. Du kaufst ein Buch. Uh, he, she, it uh, buys a book. Er, sie, as kauft ein Buch. Uh, we buy a book. Wir kaufen ein Buch. Okay? And you buy a book. Kauft. Ja. Yeah. Kauft ein Buch. And they buy a book. Sie kaufen ein Buch. Okay, let's take a look, please. That we have the next endings for the for the weak um, verbs in the present tense. Er, es ter, ter, er, an, ter, and an. What do you have to do? How do you think? You have to learn them. Yeah, sure. There is no another way to know it. The first, we are going to conjug conjugate the verb uh, kaufen in the Past tense. Das Präteritum. Follow me, please. You bought a book. Uh, I'm sorry, I bought a book. Yeah? Ich kaufte. I see? Ein Buch. Uh, you do kauftest. Ein Buch. Er. Yeah. Sie es kaufte ein Buch. Wir kauften ein Buch. Ihr kauftet ein Buch. Und sie kauften. Ein Buch. Please take a look. What endings we have for the past tense? Ter. Test. Ter. Ten. Tet. And ten. What do you have to do? How do you think? Sure. You have to remember the endings for the past tense. Well, okay, good. And the next. All these endings, as you can see, I used for weak, regular verbs, but in German there are also irregular verbs, so-called strong or stem-changing verbs, yeah? And you know, there is no one rule for their conjugation. How do you think what you have to do? You have to learn them um, and how, and also you have to learn how the, uh, how you should conjugate them, you know? Because, I don't know, we are going to take a look at the verb to go, pardon, and you will see that there is no rule how they conjugate it. You just have to learn them. Follow me, please. 
Oké. Okay. I go. I go. Yeah? Ich fahre. Uh, fahre. It is to go. Yeah? Ich fahre. Ich fahre. You go. Du. Take a look, please. Du fährst. Fährst. Er. Sie. Es fährt. Take a look, please. Fährt. Und wir fahren. Ihr fahrt und sie fahren. Okay. What we see that we have the same endings like we had for the Kaufen. Er, es, der, der, er, m, der, and m. But what else we have? Sure. For the second and for the third person, we have uh, changed vowel. A becomes a. Er, here and here. Well, what do you have to do? I think you know that you just have to run it. And let's uh, conjugate the verb to go in the past tense. I remember you that it's strong verb. It's a regular verb. Okay. Okay. I went. Ich fuhr. There is no ending. Du fuhrst. Er, sie, es fuhr. There is no ending. Wir fuhren. I an ending. Ihr fuhrt und sie fuhren. Okay, what do we see? We see that it's really uh, strong verbs and uh, it uh, has um, its own endings in the past tense, like here. You see, there is no ending. Ending as uh, there is no ending. A and ending, te and a ending. So, what you should to do? What you should do? I think you should learn them as well. You see, because it's regular strong verbs. Well, uh, there are a lot of uh, strong verbs like in English, and I think you understand that in English we learn all irregular verbs, and in German we have to do as well. Oh. The next thing that you have to know that there are three auxiliary verbs in German language and you have to know to learn the conjugation of them because they're almost irregular. Follow me please. The first verb is to be. Sein. Sein. I am, you are, he, she is and, and so forth. Okay. Ich bin. Ich bin. Du bist. Du bist. Er, sie, es ist. Wir sind. Ihr seid. Und sie sind. Okay, and now we are going to conjugate it in the past tense. Once again, it's almost a regular verb. That is why you just learn the conjugation of the verb sein. Okay, ich war, du warst, er, sie, es war, okay, wir waren, Ihr wart. And the last one. Sie waren. 
Well, I think uh, it's for sure that there is no rule for conjugation of the verb time. That is why you have to learn. The next verb is uh, to have. Have. Haben. Ich habe. Du hast. Er, sie, es hat. Wir haben. Ihr habt und sie haben. Okay. And in the past tense, okay? Ja, ich hatte. Du hattest. Er, sie, es hatte. Wir hatten. Ihr hattet. And the last one is uh, sie hatten. Okay. And the last verb is uh, to become. Werden. Yeah? Follow me, please. Werden. I become. Ich. Werde. Du wirst. Wirst. Er, sie, es wird. Wir werden. Ihr werdet. Und sie werden. One more time. Do you see any role for the, for the conjugation? Well, I don't see. That is why you have to learn it, sure. And in the past tense, ich wurde. Ich wurde. Du wurdest. Er, sie, es wurde. Wir wurden. Ihr wurdet. Und sie wurden. Well done. You know, uh, it's not really and uh, it's not really easy to remember um, from the first time when you see how to conjugate the present and the past tense. That is why you just uh, you should go. You should do it step by step. Yeah, I know. And what do you have to remember? First, the present and the past tense are fully conjugated. There are both irregular, mm, strong verbs, and regular. Weeks verbs, yeah? Uh, yeah. Which one is one? You should learn them like in English, yeah? Because, for example, if you, I don't know, come across with the Ankaufen, how do you know it's a regular or irregular verbs? Sure, you have to find out and learn that, for example, it's a regular verb, yeah? And so forth. The next thing that there are three regular verbs that you have to remember how to conjugate it. Sein, haben and werden, yeah? Okay. For the irregular verbs, for the conjugation of the regular verbs, there is no one rule how to conjugate it. That is why it's, um, don't try to remember, don't try to find out the rule, yeah, and the way how to remember the whole, um, the conjugation of the whole irregular verbs. Well, there is no way, there is no such way like in English, yeah. That is why just step by step, if you come across a new verb and you know that it's irregular, just learn it. Yeah, write down in your dictionary, I don't know. Well, and the next thing, I think it's enough for today. Thank you for watching. Let's see you. Have a nice day. Bye.